Hello, my name is Tally, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a bit of a bumper video for you of all of the niggly projects that I've been doing around the house. So obviously over lockdown, we've been spending a lot more time in the flat. So uh, yeah, the things have been annoying me even more than they usually would. And I've just like wanted to fix everything basically. We have been on a journey with this flat. It's very cheap and in a very good area, but the flat itself needs a little bit of love uh, to say the least. We're renting, so a lot of the stuff is stuff that the landlords have to do and we're just kind of waiting on them to get those sorted. But there has been some bits I've been able to do myself and I filmed a bunch of these and this video is taking place over months and months and months and I thought I would put them together into one video because I love watching videos like this of people just like finishing little projects and doing DIY stuff around the house. And one of the biggest projects is that I painted the kitchen and I'm kicking myself because I didn't actually film that but I did film some before and after and finishing up some of the bits of that so I hope you enjoy. So this is what the kitchen looked like before. This is much better already than it was when I first moved in. I will link a video in the corner of when I first moved in so you can compare. The biggest bugbears for me at the moment is the lack of storage and the lack of surface space. It is a very small kitchen. And also that the sink cupboard unit and the other cupboard unit don't match at all. They're completely separate units. So the first solution for us was to get a butcher's block or a movable surface which had some storage underneath. This was just one from Argos and we had a great old time building the flat pack. And then also because storage is a premium in our flat, I also cleared out the cupboards that we already have to try and maximize that space a bit better. a home renovation video without a little Ikea haul. I've just been at Ikea this morning and it was so busy and even though they had like one-way system, hand sanitizer, only letting a certain amount of people in, like it was an experience. I don't really want to go back anytime soon. So first I got some new cushions for our dining chairs because we quite often dry our laundry over the chairs and I just never thought to take the cushions off while I was doing this and so one of the cushions got mouldy because it was like had damp on it all the time so yeah we needed some new cushions. I got a tool set because I'm an adult and now I own tools. Got a big old tub because Adam's got really into making bread over lockdown and so we needed more flower storage. Got a big old plant pot for my monstera because it's growing out of its pot. I didn't realise this was plastic when I was looking at it on the website so a bit annoying but it still it looks pretty convincing like it looks like real terracotta apart from it's much lighter to pick up. I got another pot. This one is gold obviously and this one's metal. Um, I'm doing like a massive, like a load of my plants need repotting and like I was trying to figure out a way for them to like use each other's pots so I wouldn't have to get a load of new pots. But I say like I have to get a load of new pots like it's a bad thing. I enjoy plant pot shopping. <laughs> and I got one more pot, but this one is actually for the kitchen. We're actually gonna use this as a cutlery, not cutlery, utensil holding pot because I have a, the same one as this that has a plant in, in the kitchen, so it's nice, like, matchy-matchy. I got a gin goblet because I am forever smashing our gin goblets. So, like, every time I go to Ikea, I usually need to pick up another one because I've smashed one. So the reason I went to Ikea that is actually related to the rest of this video is because, let me show you. I cleared a load of space on this worktop by moving some things onto this one, like the toaster. Oh, we got a new toaster and a new kettle as well. They actually look much nicer. Um, Cause I hate having things out on the side. Like I just hate it. But now that this worktop is so clear and all the stuff that was here is gone, I've realized just how much I hate this wall. Like did they run out of wallpaper while they were doing it? 
Um, underneath there's actually some quite nice panelling, um, so I'm so tempted just to like rip all the gross wallpaper off, but I don't have permission to do that. So the final two things I got is this gold tray, which won't stand up because it's in its packaging, and a big old chopping board to like cover up the gross wall and then we actually have a chopping board and a tray and one more thing I want to get for this worktop is like something to put these on like things that do need to be out salt pepper oil like a little tray or something for these to be on so that they have a place and I also didn't manage to get any more of these hooks because I think we're gonna have four hooks under here for our mugs um, I just found these in our drawer. I don't know where they came from, so I just need to get a couple more of those. So with all of these things, once I've put everything together, I've had a little organise of these. I mean, a lot of stuff's in the wash right now. I've had a little organise of our cutlery drawer. How beautiful is this? So that's how I got rid of the spice rack, which was there. I just put all the herbs in here and they stand up so nicely in that drawer. Organise the cutlery, even though it does not look very organised there. I mean, I've organised all of these drawers. Um, so if you will ignore the mess that's going on <laughs> from filming this haul, um, see what I mean about drying our laundry on the chairs. Hey, baby fern. What are you doing? Cleaning your butt? Um, yeah, it's starting to come together. I like it. So plants are going to change because they all need repotting. We've actually put the stuff on our butcher's block now, which is looking, looking good. I mean, one very exciting adult thing, our friend is coming to help us change which way the fridge opened. I didn't even know you could do that. Like you can change so it'll open this way, which will be a lot better. I've started cleaning there seems to be a layer of sticky back plastic or maybe it's just paint on the drawers um, so I was trying to clean it with sugar soap and I've just been peeling this layer of paint off that's got like ancient grime underneath it mmm so this is what the kitchen is looking like these days, apart from it is never normally <laughs> this clean. So I've painted the worktops with, it's called a like countertop transformation kit. So it's like a paint and then a top coat. You can kind of see it a bit better on this side, I think, but it's like kind of glittery. And I also redid the sealant around the sink and then painted the cupboards and this bottom bit here was black as well and put new handles on them because the biggest pet peeve for me was that these two kitchen units didn't match, like they weren't the same so now at least they look the same colour, that's something um, we also peeled off the wallpaper, this Mingan wallpaper and painted the wooden panels that were behind it just with white gloss so that they can be wiped clean nice and easily. So because the kitchen cupboards and drawers are all different, they're all different thicknesses. So when I was putting these handles on, they come with this back bit as well, um, which I needed to put in to get the, the thickness of the screws that I had. But on this side, the screws that are currently in there are too short if I put the back bit on and the other screws I have are too long if I put the back bit on. Uh, I've not been able to get different screws but I've got washers to like make it more deep. I hope that will work. I've realised there is no way I can do this without showing you the inside of this cupboard. Uh, so maybe next on the to-do list, it wasn't on my to-do list but maybe next on the to-do list should be Sorting this cupboard out. Maybe if I go here, I'll block it.
So now all of the handles match. I only took two washers to get it that thickness that it needed to screw in. So that's good, happy with that. And also if I show you the absolute shit show that is this wall where our boiler is, um, when we were painting the tops, I had to take the cover of the boiler off. Oh, you can see a reflection here, hello. Um, so that I could get right into the corner of the tops. Um, but to take the cover of the boiler off, you have to unscrew the wood paneling around and I haven't screwed it back in properly yet. So we'll do that to cover whatever terrifying stuff is going on behind the boiler. There's a mystery towel there. No idea why it's there. But I feel like if I take it out, something terrible will happen. Rats will come boring out or, I don't know, might be holding in a water pipe or something. So I'm just going to leave it there, put the plank back. And yeah, this is it's very illegal how, how this wall is constructed around the boiler. But hey, that is what you get. go that's back to the shocking state that it was in uh, that's probably another one to ask the landlords about what is going on with this wall uh, I've also just realized there's a massive draft coming through here there must be like a hole back there somewhere um, and also to I really want to just rip all of this wallpaper off because it's all disgusting but uh, yeah, we only only just did this far and I don't know, maybe the landlord will let us do the rest of the wall. Get rid of the magnolia nightmare that is this kitchen. curtains for our doors because all of the doors in this flat have like glass panels um so it's fine for the kitchen for the bedroom like it means light comes in from the hall and for the bathroom obviously not ideal and I tried to find curtains online that were going to be the right size I measured them and everything um but they were all really long and would like drag on the floor and then just like get gross on the floor um, and also really see through. So I just got a double bed sheet, like a white flat bed sheet, and I'm gonna make curtains because also all the doors are different sizes. So this means I can make them exactly the right size that I need. And we've had this makeshift bed sheet curtain uh, since I moved in and now that this is like my <laughs> yoga studio, although this is a nice bed sheet, um, I just wanted something like more neutral and plain so it's gonna be, I don't know, a bit nicer. And this is just like attached with the poppers of the bed sheet uh, and safety pins because there, there is a curtain rail here, there was just no curtain on it when we moved in. And the bathroom door is much narrower and doesn't have a curtain rail. Um, for this whole time, we just had these door hooks on there with a shower curtain hung up and that worked fine, but then it got kind of gross and ripped. So I'm gonna cut the sheet like exactly to size and then just pin it onto the door so it doesn't like flap about every time we open the door and will stay in place. So the sewing machine is out. I've got my measurements. Let's get curtain making.
one I can't decide so I actually have enough material that I could fold it in half and have it like two layers thick or I don't know whether to keep the width and just like have it so that it's more curtain-y but it like folds um I do quite like how that looks actually with the folds I'll need to so you do something a bit nicer at the top there, but... Mm. Perfect! My stitching is not the straightest, and I also realised I did my hem the other way to this side, like that one's tucked forward and my side is tucked back, but hey, that's fine, it does the job. That took way too long and I'm not 100% happy with how it looks at the top, but it is done. And next thing on the agenda is sorting out the chaos that has happened here. So the bathroom is the next big project that we can't do ourselves, we need to wait for, you know, actual professionals to come and sort this because, well, there are holes in the bath which we have patched up temporarily and obviously it's a green bath and all of the bath repair stuff is white, um, so yeah, it looks a bit rubbish. So we are getting a new bath. Our shower has never worked. Um, like water comes out of it, but it doesn't stay a consistent temperature. The pressure's okay, but it's mainly the temperature. It goes from like scalding hot to freezing. Um, so we might be also getting the shower sorted at the same time as the bath. And our floor feels like it might fall through at any moment. Uh, so our floor is getting redone. I don't even know. Like it, you just feel like you're walking on a tight rope every time. Yeah, you can see I'm like pressing this floorboard and this whole shelf is moving. Yeah, so it feels like whenever you're sat in the toilet, the, the toilet might just like fall through the floor at any moment. So that is the next big project and I can't really do anything about that. We're just kind of waiting for the plumber and the floor person to be available at the same time and with COVID and everything. So that's gonna be a little while. Um, but the last kind of little things that I can <laughs> fix, I'm gonna do today. This cupboard does not stay shut. So we hold it shut with a ruler. And if I take that ruler out, like it just, it doesn't stay shut. I mean, ignore the state of what's going on in there. We're talking about the door today. <laughs> I've tried several different kinds of latches for this door. Um, so first is like this twisty one. I don't know if you can see like where you twist it and it would latch shut. Uh, this was just too small and it didn't actually hold it shut when I, when I did it. Um, then I got this one, uh, which I thought would, would hold it shut, but this was just too long and like you can't get shorter ones of this kind of latch. So now I've got these ones, which are like hooky, although, and you can only get these in like, well, I could only find them in like a multi-pack, so I've got tons of these, but they're actually like really cheaply made, like hollow and they're like super light. So I'll give these a go, I'm trying to install them. Maybe, maybe this is the solution. Okay, I'm kind of regretting putting it in between the handles. I just thought it would be like neater and out of the way. You can see where I was attempting before. I'll have to fill those in and paint over them. But it works! Ooh. Yeah, like it's a little bit kind of in the way, isn't it? But, oh well, it, it works. It does the job and it's neater than having a ruler. I used bigger screws than the ones provided at the bottom because the ones they that came with it were these tiny little ones. I don't know if you can see but like when I screwed it in it's like really dented the the metal of the clasp because it was so uh, like thin and cheaply made. Um, 
but hey, it works. So that is all of those niggly projects complete and it feels so good. I mean, I'm sure there'll be more things that come up soon that need fixing, but it's good to have a load of them done off my list. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. You can give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye.